Everybody looks forward to the beginning of spring. The weather warms up and new life is everywhere. Trees become green again and flowers show off brilliant colors following their winter slumber. Well, that's all great, Mary. But personally, I look forward to one of the first crops of the year, farm fresh strawberries. But as Kevin Worthington tells us, they don't just pop up out of the ground each year. The harvest is the end of a long process that started late last summer. Strawberries are an important crop to Alabama agriculture. Not so much because of the economic impact, but because of what they signify to consumers. I think that strawberries in Alabama are kind of the flag saying, all right, it's time for the fresh season to be here. It's one of the first things that people start looking for um, as you picks begin to open, fresh strawberries start hitting those very early farmers markets. It's kind of that, that way to, to signal that spring is here. We consider ourselves to have four seasons. We basically have strawberry season and during strawberry season we have our cool season vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, lettuce. You know, then we start into peach season. We have peaches, squash, cucumbers, green beans, things like that. Then you, we hit our main vegetable season, which is tomato season, which is the majority of the summer, where we have all of our different vegetables, peas, corn, tomatoes, etc. And then October, of course, is pumpkin season, and then we have a few late season vegetables at that time as well. And then we're finished as we move into the late fall and early winter. While strawberries start becoming available in March, Preparation for the first fruits of spring actually begins two seasons earlier, when nurseries begin growing the plants that will eventually produce big red berries. Now we don't propagate uh, from seed uh, for, for field production. Um, so, so the plants, you know, strawberry plants put out runners and, and the, those runner tips are caught, or are, are cut off uh, in like in, uh, you know, July. And at that time when they're cut off and they, they cut them, they grate them, they send them to us and then we, we stick them at that time. Those young plants grow four to five weeks before Triple J Nursery delivers them to farmers from Texas to Kentucky to South Carolina and into northern Florida. We'll put in uh, 20,000 plants today. Farmers nurture these plants between fall planting and spring harvest. But winter farming brings a unique set of challenges. As soon as we start getting the bloom, we have to watch for frost. Frost is our killer. We, if we get a, a forecast of frost, we'll have to come in and put row covers on. We'll put a row cover on. It looks like a big mushroom out here. Uh, we'll get it covered, and then we will uh, take them off and on. Uh, if the frost is, does hit, then it'll, it'll protect the plant and the, uh, the bloom and the fruit from the freeze. Due to modern technology and transportation, many fruits and vegetables are available year-round in grocery stores. But consumers say there are significant differences between strawberries that are trucked in and those that are picked fresh. What you're getting from the grocery store, that average time is what, I think 17 days from field to table. So the difference in that travel time and the stage in which it was picked, we're able to pick a strawberry that's full ripe we're able to pitch, pick a peach that's full ripe and put it on your table tomorrow. Whereas that strawberry that was picked in California or Brazil was picked half ripe, it was ripened on the way to the store or to your table and it's not gonna taste the same as a full vine ripe or, or plant ripened product. Farmers markets and UPIC operations are located within a short drive of almost anywhere in Alabama. To find fresh produce near you, go to sweetgrownalabama.org. But be prepared, you're likely to come home with a lot more than just a basket of fresh fruits and vegetables. What better way than to get your kids or grandkids out, out into a field picking strawberries. It's just as much about picking the food as it is having the experience of picking the food. And you know, I, I kind of always tell folks when it's about a you pick, where else can $10 get you a gallon of strawberries and a lifetime of memories? For Simply Southern, I'm Kevin Worthington. There's nothing quite like sitting down to a home-cooked meal with fresh vegetables from the garden. With Bonnie Plants from your local quality co-op store, you can enjoy the freshest vegetables right from your own backyard. 
And no matter if you're a raised bed gardener, a rose gardener, or if you farm hundreds of acres, your quality co-op store has exactly what you need to get the most out of your plants. You'll always find what you need, plus friendly, knowledgeable advice at your local quality co-op store. There's one near you. FFA makes a positive difference in the lives of students by developing their potential for premier leadership, personal growth, and career success through agricultural education. We're strengthening American agriculture and providing our members with the skills needed to build healthy local communities, a strong nation, and a sustainable world. We are the next generation of agriculture. It's our turn now. Let's show the world what we can achieve together. We are FFA. The versatile peanut, meat of the earth, friend of the soil, tasty, nutritious, packed with protein. And Alabama peanut farmers nourish some very special things, families, communities, and Alabama's economy. Peanuts, good for you, good for Alabama. For more Simply Southern, be sure to follow us on social media. And while you're online, visit our website, simplysoutherntv.net. Simply Southern will continue in a moment. We believe a plant should be more than a plant. This one is, it's all you need for your garden to succeed because it's a bonnie plant. It represents hundreds of varieties of Bonnie's quality veggies and herbs. But more, it's from generations of Bonnie people who are passionate about sharing their love of gardening with you. Look for this little Bonnie plant and a whole family of plants like it in your garden center. Bonnie plants, so you'll know how to grow. 